The attacking clear, otherwise known as the punch clear, can be used in both singles and doubles to force a weak reply or even win the point outright. Oh, that's a great yes. punch clear. Clever, clever play. It's such a simple but effective shot. And in this video, we're going to break it down step by step. So let's get straight into it. The punch clear is quite an advanced shot. So hopefully if you're here, you already know the basics of hitting a clear. But as a quick refresher, you should be in a loose forehand grip with your hand further down the grip like this to create a longer lever. This loose grip is actually really important for the punch clear. And this will become clear why in just a minute. Your body should also be facing sideways in your preparation, like before any overhead shot, except maybe flat lifts. And your racket arm should have roughly two 90 degree angles, and your non-racket arm should be up to help with your timing, balance and rotation. Now we have two very important parts of your preparation for the punch clear, that if you don't get right, then your shot will fail completely, and this will happen. Firstly, you need to be behind the shuttle. And secondly, you need to have the same technique as your smash or drop shot. This is because it's an aggressive and hopefully deceptive shot. And if it doesn't look the same, then it's just not going to work. If you look threatening, your opponent will be waiting for the downward shot with their body weight leaning forwards. The punch clear then makes them completely shift their body weight in the opposite direction. And this takes a lot of time and effort. Again, this will force a weak reply or even be an outright winner. So you're in the right position, but how do you actually hit the punch clear to make sure it's as effective as possible? Well, as we just mentioned, it needs to look the same as your smash or drop. If you want it to look the same as your smash, then you need to have a fast racket swing speed. And then at the last millisecond, rather than bringing your racket down over the top of the shuttle to make it travel in a downwards direction, you need to keep the strings flat. And if you want it to look the same as your drop, then you would have a slower swing speed, but at the last millisecond, you need to then increase the swing speed and again, keep the strings flat. Now, as you strike the shuttle, you need to squeeze the grip to add power into the shot. And this is also what creates the deception. But again, you need to have a really relaxed grip to be able to do this. Generating enough power is so important because even if your punch clear is really deceptive, if it lands short, then it's just not going to work. Now this example also brings up the question of how high should you hit your punch clear? And the answer to this, it depends. It's quite simple, but if your opponent is really small, like Yamaguchi, then you can play a flatter punch clear. Whereas a taller player would be able to intercept this without really moving, so you need to play it higher. What we've both personally found to be most effective in doubles is the cross court punch clear. Because if the defender on the cross court is stood here like they should be, then this is a much longer distance to move than the defender on the straight just moving back to here. Yeah, that's just our personal experience though. We've seen the straight punch clear work many times too, especially in singles. And that brings us on to the question of when should you actually use the punch clear? Well, hopefully you know this first point by now, which is to only use the punch clear when you're on balance and in a good threatening position. If you don't look like you can smash it or play a good drop shot, then it's not going to be effective. Now the punch clear is generally used more in singles and also mixed doubles, specifically when the male opponent is punch clearing cross court to the female opponent. And this is because, again, speaking from personal experience, females have to be more ready for the male smash because it's likely coming to them. There will be times where you can use it a lot in men's and women's doubles though, especially when you're playing opponents whose movement isn't their greatest strength. Just because you rarely see professional men's doubles players hitting clears, doesn't mean you shouldn't, as it's unlikely your opponents will move as well as the pros. So use it when you're in a threatening position and when your opponent is fully expecting a downward shot. But you can't overuse this shot. Don't do what I did, hit a winning punch clear and then try it again on literally the next point. Once or twice in a set is probably enough. Now, if you've got to this point in the video and you're not sure if you've mastered the basic clear yet, then we'd recommend going to watch our step-by-step -step tutorial, which will be here for you. Or if you're looking for something more advanced, then we'll link our stop drop tutorial here for you. Lastly, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll hopefully see you on another video very soon. Bye. Bye.